Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Rena here. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Tarina. I make faith-based videos, weight loss videos, and now girl chat videos because I did say transformational videos, but you know, weight loss and transformation kind of go hand in hand and I don't really make vlogs anymore. So let's just do girl chat videos, right? To keep the, let's keep the people going. Let's keep it going. So yes, this video is a weight loss video. Surprise! I know y'all haven't seen one of these in a while. Y'all probably like, we get it, Serena. God told you to move. But yes, here's the weight loss surgery videos that y'all have been looking for. I heard you was looking for me. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> but I'm here with the video. This is my one year post-op video. This is my 100 pounds down since weight loss surgery video. We here. We here. Late. But we here. So let's jump into stats. Stats, my highest weight was 411 pounds. My surgery weight was 377 pounds. My weight now is 278 and my lowest weight is 276. So I'm like, I'm gonna take my lowest weight and my weight now and I'm gonna average that bad boy out and say, guess what? We are 100 pounds down. Oh, 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 oh. 100 pounds down since surgery weight. Oh, what a life, what a life, what a life. So excited about that. I've made, I saw the scale do it. So it has happened. I got down to my lowest weight, 276. Started exercising, walking like crazy. In my body, what happens with that is my weight goes up. My weight went up to 282 and now I've worked it back down to 278. So I'm at my little happy medium right here and I still have lost 100 pounds since weight loss surgery. I'm really grateful for that. Really happy. I guess since I'm speaking of happy, I guess we could kick it into mindset. Really quick, before we go into mindset, actually, I wanted to let you guys know my clothing sizes. So at my highest weight, I was a 4X, 5X slash a size 28. And then now I am currently a size 2X and a 18. Okay, so that's my clothing sizes. That's the latest tea. I didn't really give you guys an update since the last video of seven months because to me, not a lot has changed. In the last video, I think I said I was at 280. And then I just told you that once I worked out, I went right back up to 280. So like 276 to 282, that's, I've been, I've been ping ponging there for the past, what? seven months <laughs> it's just been the same same old same old so i haven't really recorded anything because aside from losing 100 pounds not much has changed but 100 pounds is big enough to have its moment so let me have this moment let me say good job tarina you did that you 100 pounds like it. you look better than ever you look good you look good you that oh okay i'm happy about that okay happy again mindset let's talk about mindset so once more with my mindset, I am just really getting more comfortable and acclimated to this body. I feel more at home in this body now more than ever. I feel like my body no longer surprises me. I feel like feeling less of me feels more comfortable. It feels like where I need to be. It feels like me. My mindset is also focused on a better me. I was telling my best friend, like a lot of people when they lose weight, they're looking at like their high school pictures and they're like, oh, I'm gonna get back to that. They're looking at their college pictures. Oh, I'm gonna get back to that. Their pre-baby pictures. Oh, I'm gonna get back to that. Well, I had a daughter at 19. I got pregnant at 18. So I've my pre-baby weight has been my entire adult life. I've been bigger. I was a plus size teenager, but I hit 300s quick. So it's really difficult having faith for a vision that I don't and have not seen. So right now, technically at 278, I'm the smallest I've been as an adult. This is the smallest that I've been in since my daughter's 15, in 15 years. I remember my lowest, the lowest weight that I recall me being is 280. And that was in college and that was before my daughter. So with me being smaller than I've ever been as an adult, it's kind of hard to think of what is next when you've never seen next. So now I'm envisioning a body I've never seen. I'm reaching for goals I can't even imagine because I don't know what that's going to look like on me, but I am determined. I'm determined. I'm determined, okay? All right. Also, 
with my mindset. I have let go of the fear that this is where I'm going to be. I know with weight loss surgery, I told you guys a lot of times that you get really like, oh my God, I'm not going to lose any more weight. This is it. This is it. This is it. And I'll kind of reconcile with the fact that if this is it, I, I like me and I like this body and I feel good where and who I am, but also it's on me now. Like, I feel like any other time that I've lost weight, this is that, like, this is, I don't feel like this is surgery weight loss anymore. I feel like this is Tarina, like Tarina, the training wheels are off. You've lost enough weight to now take control of your weight in a more conscious way. Do it. Like it's easier to move now. So move. It's easier to run now. So run. Do I be running? No, I just walk kind of fast. <laughs> Sometimes. But yeah, so I feel like the onus is on me. And I'm really motivated. That's a mindset thing. That's about it for my mindset. Let's talk about food. Mm -hmm. Now, last time I talked to you, I told you I can eat what I want, when I want. It's just a matter of being like Trina. Don't do it because you shouldn't. But now, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's age. I don't know if my surgery is just having a late reaction. But baby, I can't eat what I want to what I want to. I feel like all of my issues from the surgery are like kicking in now. I can't eat a lot of fried foods. It really hurts my stomach. Like I get really gassy, like painfully so. I've kind of realized, I didn't notice this in the past. Like I never paid attention to it, but I can't drink soda. Like I knew I couldn't drink soda and I knew I didn't want soda and I didn't, knew the desire had been gone. But I never really paid attention to the fact like you don't drink soda. I don't drink soda. It it bloats me up in the most painful way. And I have not drank soda. Like I'll have like a sip of Sprite because oh, mm, I miss a good Sprite. Mm, I miss a good Sprite. That's about the only soda that I miss. And every now and then I have like a tiny sip and that's it because I it tears my stomach up. So sorry for not telling y'all that in the past videos, but that goes for the past because I have not been drinking soda. So yeah. Soda's one of them. Fried food, I get so gassy. Oh, uh, it hurts. Dairy. <laughs> Dairy. It's It's been tearing me up. Sweets. I get so gassy. I get gassy like the next day I'm gassy. Like not even like, oh, I'm just got gas tonight. If I eat a cookie, like crumble cookie today, clear the schedule the next day. You're home and you blowing it up. That's been my life. I've really been like actively like, even praying about it. I know you're like, Tarina, everything isn't spiritual, but for me, it gotta be, okay? I believe in the Lord, I believe in the Lord. But I've been really praying that God really helps me to want the things that are good for me. And right now, the food I've been eating has really been more so about me liking what makes me feel better. I don't like the way fried foods make me feel. Do I still eat them sometimes? Heck yeah. I just ate chicken strips and fries last night <laughs> at Yard House. But my intention was to go in to get a baked potato, but they didn't have no baked potatoes. I really want a baked potato. I got to go to Trader Joe's today. But I've been really assessing my food and how it makes me feel afterwards. And if I don't like the way it makes me feel, I don't want to eat it anymore. So ironically, a year and a half almost out is when I'm like, actually, hmm, I don't want to eat everything. And I'm so grateful because that's just the effect of the surgery. It's still, the surgery still surgery and y'all, it's still working. It's still working. And I lean in when I do eat those fast foods, I lean in on the restrictions. I went to Yard House yesterday. I ordered a kid's meal, a chicken tenders kid's meal with a truffle fry. Mm. I ate about this many fries and I ate three of the chicken tenders. They give you five chicken tenders with a kid's meal. Why would anybody get a full meal? That was so much food, couldn't finish it all. Protein first, then potatoes, okay? And then today, today I had Chipotle, uh, kids, kids build your own. So know that when I say I can eat what I want, I usually just still get kids meals. <laughs> I still eat kids meals, but I got a kids uh, taco build your own from Chipotle. And I really wanted a cookie from Crumble Cookie because I am going to be home. Oh, I'm not. <gasps> oh, that was nothing but the Lord. Nothing but the... See, that's why everything got to be spiritual because he comes through. He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. But I was going to give me a Crumble Cookie. I was... See, I... <laughs> 
Look at God. I was going to go give me a crumble cookie when I went to go get my Chipotle. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just make the decision right now to turn around. It takes two seconds to make that decision. I'm going to just turn around right now. And if I want it later, I'll go get it later. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just make this quick decision. So I made that quick decision, went and got my Chipotle and went home. It's those little moments that make a difference because now if I would have had that crumble cookie, I'm going to work tomorrow in the office. I would have been in pain. I would have been in pain. Oh, the gas would have been tearing me up. I don't really eat pizza anymore. It tears my stomach up. The cheese destroys me. I told you soda. I try to go light on the fast food. I still eat takeout a lot, but I'm trying to do more like Kava, Gusto's, Chipotle. Things that are like not homemade, but are better for you because I don't like cooking. Sometimes I still just want chicken strips. So I get chicken strips, okay? I get the chicken strips, okay? Also, when I do want sweet things, I like to like give it away now. So like, for example, I bought a piece of cake. I really wanted a piece of cake. I brought this thinking up in a long a video a long time ago. I probably deleted it. But it's like when you have a craving... Eat enough to satisfy the craving, throw the rest away. I know we were taught, don't throw food away. I know we were taught, it's starving children in Africa. Truth be told, it's starving kids in America. I know we were always taught these things and I know that we're like, I'm not gonna waste my money, but you didn't. Did you get the satisfaction that you wanted in those few bites? Did you? Because otherwise, after you get that first few bites, you're just eating because it's there. Like, I don't really want this ice cream anymore. I, I'm just eating it because it's here. I don't really want this cake anymore. My sweet tooth has been satisfied. I'm just eating it because it's there. So I just give it away. Or, <laughs> or I just throw it. <laughs> just throw it or like put some dirt on it so I can't eat anymore. And be like, oh, now it's gone. I, it's ruined. I can't do it. So I'm just looking out for myself in that way. That is what's been going on with food. No, it's not. Oh my God, that wasn't it. I had my first experience with dumping syndrome. I went to Popeye's. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, that, that macaroni and cheese look real good on the picture. I would like a side of mac and cheese. Mind you, it's cheese. And it's from Popeye's in Atlanta. Like, what? what I don't know what good I thought could come of this situation. I don't know what I thought. But I got, the, <laughs> I got the mac and cheese and it just looked like something from a cafeteria, like a cartoon cafeteria meal. You know, it, I literally felt like it was bubbling. I was just like, oh, this can't be good. I'm going to eat it anyway. <laughs> Don't judge me. You can't. It's okay. I won't know. Don't judge me out loud. I ate the mac and cheese and I was like, oh, this can't be good. I just want a few more bites. It's actually delicious, but this can't be good for the future. I'm fine. Go to sleep. Stomach hurts a little bit. Then I wake up because I had I just got over a cold. I've been sick for like a month. It was so bad. It was like a viral infection. And if you hear the twang in my voice, my throat literally actively still hurts. Insane. So I was going through that cold and my throat was just really, really hurting me. And so I woke up in the morning because it was disrupting me like that much. I woke up at like five in the morning and I was like, I need some tea to help my sore throat. I can't keep operating like this. I make the tea with my usual amount of sugar. Actually, I didn't. I usually do honey instead of sugar, but I was out of honey. So I made the throat coat with sugar. I went to sleep and my stomach was hurting. Woke up and I felt horrible, horrible. <laughs> I'm Googling things like, how do you know when you're dying? <laughs> like, I felt, I was like, I'm definitely on my way out. My body was freezing cold. I was sweating profusely, like sweating so much that my spot in my bed was soaking wet. I felt like my face was turning blue, but it wasn't. It just felt like it, but I was just freezing cold. I had chills, shivers. I'm like tossing up in one end and dumping out the other end and I'm just like huh, 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 and I'm just like uh my, my daughter's like are you okay I'm like no 
It was so bad and it lasted for hours. Mm -hmm. I had food poisoning and then I had the dumping syndrome stacked on top of that. It felt like death. It felt, it felt like I'm actively dying. I don't thought like, well, what the kids gonna do? What, how I'm gonna take care? Like what's gonna happen? I was, oh, it was horrible. So let's talk about body yaddy 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 crazy curve wavy bit sorry sorry as far as my body I really don't feel like much has changed uh if I'm just being honest I don't think much has changed I'll still do like the little video with my body so you can see like the extra skin the skin is skinning it's hanging everywhere. Uh, I do plan on getting skin removal surgery in the future. Um, I'm saving for other things right now. So that's not a priority, but it is a desire. I want to have skin surgery removal. I want to have my stomach removed, but I, I want to lose more weight before then. Um, my body feels a lot more muscular under the fat. It's still under the fat because it's still a lot of fat. But that's okay. It's okay. It's, it's, it's working its way on out of there. Um, I have the pockets of fat under my boobs now and because my boobs have well I've already always had them but the difference is that because my boobs are getting smaller I feel like the size ratios are starting to level out and now it just feels like one big pocket of fat I do not like it I do not like it at all I do not like it I'm like can I cool sculpt that out can I lipo that out I don't know what to do I'm gonna I'm be doing these that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been really walking a lot. Even through that space of when I was really sick, I was still walking. My base for walking is two miles now. So that's really good for me. Um, I'm really proud of that for me because I used to be like, oh, I did a mile. Won't he do it? Mm hmm. Willie won't. But now I'm at two miles. I usually average at two and a half miles. I go at the um, a park by my house and just have a good time walking. And actually my church is doing a 60 day fitness program. I'm participating in that. And I really wanted to, let's switch into goals. This is like body slash goals, right? So I really have been wanting to get some kind of input on what to do as far as weights. Everybody's saying to tighten your skin, you need to do weights to tone up you need to do weights and I'm like I don't know I don't I don't know what to do I'm mean, just be in there doing stuff so I'm really grateful that my church is doing this 60 day program this 60 day program will get me acclimated into what I need to do at the gym so that way by the time I'm done with the 60 days I'll know what to do I'll be able to like I'm like oh okay I know leg day okay arm day I know what I should be doing I know what I should be doing my body feels really heavy I did my first day yesterday, my legs, I couldn't believe that I was still able to walk. I don't know how you're supposed to do leg day and still walk. I don't know who thought of doing that. I don't know why they did that. They were a torture per they they were that trainer retired from the torture program from FBI, the, from the FBI. They had to because uh, uh, walk how and why. It's been horrible. Um but I'm still here. I I can't leave and be like, "Yeah, it was it was really rough, but I feel really good." I didn't I didn't, <laughs> but I did it and I'm going to keep doing it because I'm really focused on the results. Going back to goals, my goal is to get down to 250. So I'm at 278. So that'll be 28 more pounds. And I want that by the end of the year. I'm not rushing it. Would I like it by my birthday? Absolutely. Because I'm trying to be in Italy with somebody's son. If the Lord would send it. Only if. Otherwise, I'm going to be in Italy with somebody's daughter, a.k.a. mine, because we're going to be turning up. No matter what, I'm going out of town, and I'm going to be not half naked, but a lot of naked. And I want to look and feel good. So that's the goal. Oh, I want to lose these fat pockets. This. I want to lose this. I don't like, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like those fat pockets. I want to lose those fat pockets. I want to tone my legs a lot more. I just want to overall tone. So yes, lose the weight, but I also really want to tone my body up and start saving for skin removal surgery. Summer's coming up, so I know the sweat is going to 
sweats coming and I'm not looking forward to it. But yeah, lose those pounds. Eventually get into a size 16. Keep on moving. Keep moving this body. And that's it. It's been a wonderful year. I'm really grateful for the tool of weight loss surgery. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.